hi guys welcome back to the channel i'm chidera peters founder of the cp community a platform where international students connect thrive and succeed you should join our student membership which will be starting soon link in the description box below to join the waitlist so in this video i'm going to be sharing tips to save money with the rising cost of living in the uk i'm sure it's no news that the cost of living has increased in the uk and also energy bills are expected to rise by 80 percent this october and and even the government has introduced an energy rebate of 400 pounds basically the government will be giving households 400 pounds over the span of six months to help with the cost of electricity so definitely you need the tips in this video to help you save money and just you know keep your expenses on a minimum if that makes sense especially as an international student so i have 12 tips to share with you and let's get right into it the very first tip is to try and get free food from sites that sell these food items at a reduced price. So the very first one is approved food. So on this site, you can get food that is close to its best before date, not necessarily its expiry date. So basically, it's not expired food they are going to share to you because, of course, their business is better, but they share like food that is almost about to expire. You know how like maybe you have like mushroom that is to expire tomorrow and then you give it out today for someone to use it today. It's not to just, you know, go bad. So stuff like that yeah you should check out approved food the second one is olio or olio i don't know how to pronounce it olio but basically on this site you can get food from people around your neighborhood people that want to give out food um that you, maybe that you don't want anymore or food that it's close to its best before date stuff like that another website to check is too too good to go on this site you'll find nearby restaurants that are giving out food that would have otherwise been wasted so basically they help like with the recycle initiative to avoid food wastage so you can check out these three sites for free food now the second one is to contact your university for hardship funds now there's skepticism regarding hardship funds whether it counts as public funds because as an international student you're not allowed to take public funds if you take public funds from the uk government you can actually hamper your chances of getting your full study visa so you definitely want to avoid that but i know that as an international student i got hardship fund from my university um, and it was during a time when I did not have any money and this was before the post study visa was introduced But there is no harm in asking go to your university finance center if things are really tight for you financially Ask them if they have a hardship fund and if it is applicable to international students I want to believe it is because on the UK government website It's not stated if this is public funds, but I don't think it is so just there's no harm in asking, make sure you ask. The next way to cope with the rising cost of living is to get a heated blanket, okay? So a heated blanket, like I say, is a blanket that heats up. You plug into electricity, heats up, and it keeps you warm. It's one way to, you know, conserve energy and to ensure you stay warm for less. So you can get these blankets on Amazon. You can get some at Dunelm. I don't know how to pronounce it. Dunelm. Um, but yeah, they're really cozy. I'll link one in the description box below um, and Amazon um heated blanket you can get just to help you cope with winter the next tip i have is to switch from regular bulbs to led lights so led lights will help you save money on energy because your light bulbs are one of the things that consume electricity so when you change most of the bulbs in your house to led lights you will be conserving energy and reducing the amount you spent on that so make sure to get led lights in my house i have led lights because i'm trying to save money so that's another tip for you next tip i have is to switch off your appliances from standby mode you know a lot of times maybe you're watching television and then you just leave it on standby and netflix is just showing you different movies and all of that that actually consumes electricity so if you're not watching the telly switch it off take it off standby mode even your laptop if you're not using it talk, even your computer not your laptop sorry even your computer if it is connected to the if it's connected to electricity and it's on standby mode and you're not using it turn it off turn it off it's going to help you save money the very next tip to help you um, save money with the rising cost of living is to take shorter showers listen to me if you're one of those people that can take shower for 15 minutes you need to repent because the cost of electricity this time around is gonna skyrocket so try to keep your showers at a minimum and the reason is because when you're showering you're using hot water and hot water has to be boiled and is boiled with electricity so cut down your shower time i know you want to do self-care you want to scrub and you know all of that but you can cut it down if you usually take long showers try to keep your showers 
between three to five minutes you know just try to cut down on shower time and it will help you save money on electricity the very next tip i have is to to use reflectors on your radiators honestly i have this in my house but i don't really know if it's making so much of a difference but i know it's a hack that i have seen people share here and there so i'm going to share it to you as well you can get a piece of foil you know foil paper that i used to cook cut it out and then stick it at the back of your radiator apparently the foil is going to help the radiator reflect heat more so you're conserving the heat and not losing um heat so the next tip that i have is you should get a rail card um as an international student who travels by train you have no reason whatsoever not to have a rail card so a rail card will help you save one over three off transport fares okay and that is actually significant as in the amount you save on getting a real card is so worth it. But you would have to pay a one-time fee, I think of £30, to get your real card. Get it. See, there's no, even, there's no reason not to have a real card. There are 16 to 25 real cards. There's 26 to 30 real cards. Make sure you get it. This is going to help you save costs on transport. Every time you buy a ticket, you apply your real card and then you get a huge discount and you're able to save money. Another way to help you save money with the rising cost of living is to plan your meals ahead. You see all those grab and go, take away food. It has to reduce this time around. You know, if you're trying to save money, you have to plan your meals ahead. You can use a meal planner, plan the meals you want to eat, cook meals in your house. I will never stop saying this. If you want to save money, learn to cook, okay? Use YouTube and cook food. Use YouTube to learn how to cook, okay? So plan your meals ahead such that it will stop you from, you know, spending money here and there, grabbing things grabbing a, a can of drink grabbing popcorn grabbing you know pizza all those things that you grab <laughs> just learn to plan your meals ahead it's going to help you save money the very next tip i have is to set a budget if you don't have a budget you're going to overspend and there'll be no way for you to actually control your spending so having a budget is just you trying to do better with your money and trying to be smarter i think i have a whole video on how to budget you should check it out it's quite detailed step-by-step -step guide be Beginner friendly but basically just budget have a budget for the month how much you want to spend on eating how much you want to spend on going out with your friends how much you want to spend on takeaways and you know how much you want to spend on your nails just have a budget and try to live within your means that's going to help you save money and last but not the least is to shop on websites that sell products at a discounted price so these are products that will sell like fairly used item or refurbished items you have sites like ebay you have gumtree there's another one i just learned about freecycle.org um, you should check that out and also your fa um, facebook marketplace you can get products from furniture houseware different things um at a discounted price like you can even get a sofa from uh, facebook marketplace at a significantly discounted price i have people who have gotten amazing deals on facebook marketplace so make sure to check out this site so you can save money on household items and other essentials that you might need okay so those are all the tips that i have for you i hope this helps let me know in the comments down below which of these tips you'll be trying out or which of these tips is actually new information to you and don't forget if there's anything you'd like me to make a video on to help you with your international student journey here in the uk don't forget to leave a comment down below i'm going to check it out and i'll create the video that you want to see till next time don't forget to follow us on instagram at the cp community twitter at the cp community underscore to get further information and helpful updates days that's going to help you make the most of your time in the uk till next time bye bye